Uh, stock number 3412. It's a 2020 Twister. Trailer's uh, 37 on the floor. 8'6 wide, 8 foot tall. It's got the extra wide square front on it. Fits a very large bed. It's got the enclosed front under there with the roll up door. Covers your LP bottles and spare tank and hydraulic controls. Uh, this trailer has uh, polished slats on it. It's got an additional 60 gallon water tank up in the hay pod. It's got 17 and a half inch Alcoa wheels with 18 ply Michelin tires. Uh, it's on a tandem 10k air ride suspension got your drops he real heavy duty face cages one inch square tubing it's got the escape door all these doors have uh, gas struts on them is looking into the first stall. It's got a, a poly last poured floor in it. Um, this trailer has the camera system. It's got stall cameras and a backup camera on it. Every gate has a hanging mat with a high top divider in it. All flow, flow through gates. These feed doors also open to give you access to the manger area. So you've got your storage down here, it's your hydraulic brake pump and the air ride uh, suspension uh, system in there. And then you can access your feed trough and horses to hay and water when you're on the road with these doors. Again, they got the gas struts on them up there. It's got an angled pull out ladder got a 6.0 diesel generator it's got the integrated hay pod on it really nice big tack room combo locks on all the doors brush box blanket bars shelving up top six saddle racks Two more blanket bars and a bunch of splint boot holders over here. This trailer is also equipped with a hay elevator. With a remote, uh, you just fold that bench down, place your hay on there and use the winch remote to, to pull the hay up to the top of the trailer. Pretty handy. This trailer's in excellent condition. It's been used about four or five times. Again, you've got your drops on the rump side. Uh, a bunch of load lights. It's a four horse reverse load. So you load from in front of the axle here. It's a really slick design to open up the second door. And it's on a gas strut as well. Install camera. And it, I didn't point it out, but it had a backup camera on the back we walked by. Uh, access for uh, hamper for dirty clothes in the closets in the bathroom. Got your power awning. Uh, it's got the 10 gallon hot water heater on it. Additional exterior faucet. I believe that tack room in the back also has a 110 GFI back there. Here's a look up into the, the bed area. Lots of space. Bunch of cabinets all across the front. 
It's got end tables on each side. Uh, day night shades, the privacy door. They're custom glazed cabinets, really expensive upgrade in these trailers. It's got the sliding screen door. Got just over 100 hours on the gen. Uh, touchpad monitor system, hydraulic slide, your awning switch, satellite switch. Uh, this trailer has an upgraded surround sound theater system in it with direct TV for the satellite. Uh, solid service countertops, uh, upgraded LVP flooring in it. All stainless appliances. Lots of storage in this trailer. Floor to ceiling shelving there. It's got a couple. Those have all pull outs in it. This is another hanging wardrobe closet up here. It's got the um, electronic reclining theater seating in it with the swivel tables that are removable if you want to take them out. trailer also has the 13 cubic foot extra large fridge in it works on 12 volt and 110 Just look in the bathroom two-tone cabinets back in here really nice wardrobe With your pull outs And hanging storage up here and down here. Uh, it's got a upgraded 34 inch shower in it. It's bigger than standard. There's your hamper door with the exterior access door to get the clothes out real easy. Linen shelving. Beautiful trailer.